What's up, Tim Sykes, millionaire mentor trader here, hiking in Switzerland. Um, I feel like I just need to update you with what's been happening in 2022. Um, you know, I post a lot of videos, but some of them are like a month, two months, three months behind. It's tough for my team to keep up. Uh, we got 30 millionaire students now. Some people are a little like, they're like, wait a minute, in this video you said 20, in this video you said 12. It's growing. It's not decreasing, but it's growing. Um, it's a good problem to have. It is a problem. Let me explain why. If you click the link below, you can apply for my challenge. This is where all my millionaire students are. Um, the problem, and some of you will be like, what are you talking about? Why is it a problem to have millionaires? My team and I get overloaded. Part of the reason why I'm here in Switzerland is I needed to just clear my head. Um, when you have 30 millionaire students and Understand, I have thousands of students, but really only a few hundred actually study all the video lessons and webinars. Like, it's crazy how well this stuff is working, better than I ever hoped. Not that everyone's gonna be a millionaire, but obviously education is the key. Um, when you have 30 millionaire students, thousands, if not tens of thousands of people come to you and say, I wanna be your next millionaire. Only some people actually click the link below. Only some people click the link below and actually study. So it's a game of like curation. I need to find the most dedicated students. I'll teach anybody, but you can't be lazy. You can't just want hot picks. You gotta be willing to learn the process. Um, Jack Kellogg, one of my new eight figure students, not just a million dollars, but 10 million plus. Jack Kellogg just crossed 10 million. He gave a great webinar the other day to challenge students. It's a cool thing that my students are helping me teach. He talked about how he lost in the beginning. He lost $2,600 year one. He's arguably the best penny stock trader in the world over the past few years, and he lost $2,600 in year one. So how do you think you're gonna do? Mind you also, year one for him, I think it was like 2016, 2017. Sorry, I gotta wipe my glasses. It's, it's raining a little bit. But 2022 has been a downright difficult year for everybody. So this is not a great year for earning. Um, as I've been saying from the beginning of the year, this is a great year for learning. Just don't expect to profit that much. So I have to find dedicated students. I gotta get dedicated students thinking the right way, not just losing money year one, but studying every day, trading every day, learning every day, getting um, your process refined, figuring out what patterns you're best at, what's working best in the markets. Um, so I need to come out here and just clear my, my head. Quinn's filming this, say hi, Quinn. Hello. I don't know if they saw that. But <laughs> I was trying to see if you got your head in there. But literally, like he's seen me through my busy times. Um, you know, Quinn has gone on trips with like Tim Gratani when he was first crossing a million. Now Tim Gratani's at 15, 16 million. Ooh, just got that right on me. Thank you, Tim Gratani, for that. That's like Tim Gratani saying hello from, from the US. He has kids now, so Quinn and I haven't seen him in a while. Although I did go uh, have lunch or dinner with him in, uh, Donna a few months ago, pretty cool. How was Tim Gratani when he was on the trip, Quinn? How would you describe that? Quiet, but confident also, <laughs> to some extent. I, I think that's Opini fair. Opinionated. What? Opinionated. Yeah, right? You know, it's pretty cool. And I just got back actually from Jack and Mariana in Greece. I haven't even posted that on social media. I'm falling behind. But this is Switzerland. This is a beautiful spot. Look at this water behind me. Look at all the mountains, show them the mountains, show them like the everything, like the trees, the snow. It's pretty amazing. And I think it's good to get out there. You know, Tim Gratani is like focused on his family. Jack and Mariana are traveling. Um, you know, they did a, a course from Bad Boy, my partner on Carmigawa. He designs this stuff. He takes some amazing photos, but now he's also teaching photography. Um, and Jack and Mariana took his photography class really helps them because they take a lot of photos and I was like, I think your photos can be a little better. So they joined, Adam and his girlfriend joined. Um, Adam, if you don't know, he's one of my millionaire students, but he's made more off crypto and NFTs than stock trading. So there's a lot going on. Um, you really have to get into the process of learning before you can get into the joys of earning and then spending your earnings. Somebody messaged me the other day, they're like, Tim, I'm studying all the time, it's just not fun. Yeah, no shit, okay? Studying is not fun. The process of trying to get wealthy is not fun. You get to have fun after you're wealthy, after you get the knowledge, the confidence. You know, when, when Tim Gratani was with us, Quinn, how much was he up? Do you remember? 
two or three. It was up two or three maybe million. Maybe four? I don't know. But he had gotten around. his process down. We had worked out some kinks. He was taking some rather big losses. He was getting a little undisciplined. I think this was after that. It's snowing. It's snowing? You know, this is gonna be a fun hike down. This might be my last video before I tear my Achilles tendon. This is scary stuff. Anyways, we're out here hiking. Is this snow or rain or sleet? It's little it's like a snow. Mix. Yeah, it's a mix. It's cold here. But anyways, Tim Gratani, Adam, Jack, um, Kyle Williams, Matt Monaco, Roland, Mark Crook, Michael Good. Like the list goes on and on. You need to understand that it's possible, but that you're gonna have ups and downs. At first, it's gonna be tough to learn. You might not make that much money. You might lose in year one. This is why I say start small, trade small while you're learning, while you're uh, figuring out what's best. In 2022, you can trade big or small. You're still probably not gonna make that much, but you can still learn. You can start to see how different catalysts impact stocks. There was a great billionaire play the other day. Billionaire plays, for those of you who've been longtime students, billionaire plays worked like half a decade ago, a decade ago. Now, Stevie Cohen just invested in NERV. The thing took off, but actually day three and day four were better than day one and day two after the news. Because it takes a little while for Wall Street to recognize important news with small caps. They're not very widely followed. Now, EOSE also started taking off. I made some money on that. I missed NERV initially. I made some like on day six, um, but billionaire plays are coming back. So like different patterns come back in vogue. They go out of fashion. Um, this is trading. It's not an exact science. I just had a video go live uh, with the Wolf of Wall Street. You can click the link below. Jordan Belfort learned a lot um, from that because frankly, it was amusing to him to hear about somebody who's trading off promoters and trading off patterns rather than like, at first he started asking me, are you technical or are you fundamental? And I'm like, I'm more focused on catalysts and like nuances. And he didn't really understand what I was talking about at the beginning. By the end, if you watch the video, like you'll see he was, he was amused. And at first he thought like I was gonna be a scam or something like a promoter. Then I'm like, no, I just judge how promoters, you know, act. And then you can make predictable patterns based off their actions. It's actually great. Um, so I'm grateful for promoters. Some people said like, why didn't I come down harder on him? Um, he didn't show the whole uh, discussion, by the way. Some of it was a little edited. That's fine. You know, the gist was that, you know, he was surprised by the fact that I'm real and these strategies are real. And I think a lot of people are. Um, you know, Michael Good was my first hater. He wrote, Timothy Sykes is full of BS, gave me a chance. Now he's made over $2 million. He stepped back from being a moderator because he's focused on his family, but he will be speaking at my upcoming conference. We're planning the upcoming conference right now in October. I'm sorry, it's crazy. We have 15 millionaires speaking, so we're trying to organize everything. Um, but you're gonna get a little sense of, why does a big drop always come? Every time I talk about like my millionaire suit, a big drop came when I talked about Tim Rutani, a big drop came when I talk about Adam now, I said 15 millionaire students, that was the biggest drop. Is this a simulation? I don't know. Um, it's crazy to have so many millionaire students and I'm gratified by them, not just being successful and like I'm, I'm glad that I could help them, but they're in the community helping others now too. So the speed at which we're creating millionaires has increased. Even if it might be a tough year for trading, you have so much content, so many different angles, whether you wanna trade NFTs like Adam, Mark Crook is using my strategies uh, for options, you know, Roland likes gap and craps, Jack and Kyle are, are short bias, although Jack has been going long a little more. Mariana is dip buying. Um, it's really cool to see different students finding patterns that work for them. And that's what you have to do. There's not one pattern that suits everybody. There's not one way of making money. Um, I gave an in-person conf in conference or teaching the other day in Miami. Somebody asked me like, what's one thing that I've learned now over the years after trading and teaching? Um, and it's to be flexible. I gave the example, I put 100,000 into Pokemon, out of my comfort zone, out of my real house, still made roughly 10 grand, um, donated a little extra money and built a school in Bali called the Pokey School. Still have to visit that, I'm going to Bali in a few weeks too. We got five new schools opening. So a lot of stuff going on. More new millionaires, um, more students who I have to get, you know, the right perspective and keep you on track year one, year two. Now that you recognize year three, year four, year five, or I, I recognize it in my time, my team recognizes that year three, year four, year five are the keys. You need to keep going. 
How's it, how's it looking? Is it clearing up? Mm -hmm. That's cool. So we got a time lapse going too. So the time lapse is gonna be sick. <sighs> There's no magic bullet to getting rich, but giving good information, useful information, things that I've learned now in over two decades, things that I've also learned. I said this to Jordan Belfort too. He's like, what's next? Using the data that I now have from the successful students. Before I always had stock data, you know, different patterns, my own trades, what I see working and what's not working. Now I see what's working best for students. So I can fine tune my lessons specifically based on what has worked for my other millionaire students. So that's kind of cool. How, how long is this, Quinn? I don't even know. 1040. Okay, we got to get going. I'm glad that it's not snowing as much. I got to film a little, then we got to get to the next spot. We're going all over Switzerland. But long story short, I'm so happy to teach you guys just give me and my team a little space every now and then because we get overloaded. Um, you know, the, the whole industry of like people teaching in the stock market, it's mostly frauds. It's mostly fakes, it's mostly frauds, it's mostly people selling snake oil. Um, and, and I'm just not. And, and again, that's the, the gift and the curse. The gift is that I'm real. Congratulations, you found me. The curse is we get overwhelmed. Um, so some people was like, they were criticizing like my organization. Yeah. If you read the complete penny stock course, this book is written by Jamil, one of my students who took all my video lessons, DVDs, webinars, put them in a book because he's an academic. You can click the link below. If you want to read that, I highly encourage you to do so. So I'm not going to be the most organized. I'm still learning as a teacher. I'm learning what works and what doesn't work for me. Every now and then I do need to get away. It's the weekend right now. The stock market is closed. Yesterday I made like $500. The day before I lost like two grand. So I'm, I'm still trading, making a little, losing a little, but I gotta maintain my sanity. I don't have that much sanity. Quinn, have I gotten more insane since you met me? Have I gotten busier? Yes. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. um, you need that. You want me to stay sane. You want me to like at least still be able to see the patterns, trade the patterns, and kind of organize the lessons in a little bit, although it's not gonna be perfect. So it's good to be real. Focus on your journey. Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. The world is beautiful. You can build whatever dream life you want over time. Um, it's going to take time, so have the patience, please. Nothing good uh, happens overnight. Nothing big gets built overnight. But if you do have patience and if you do start to say, what can I do in 2022 to make 2023, 2024, 2025 your best year ever? I think that's the right mindset. And you'll be surprised. Well, it might be overwhelming in the beginning. It gets easier over time. You just got to stick with it. Use new tools like Stocks to Trade Breaking News. I wouldn't trade without it. Um, read the book. Like I said, watch the interview with Jordan Belfort and just keep studying. And if you are in the challenge, if you click the link below and get in my challenge, that's one thing. If you're already in my challenge, feel free to ask me any questions. I shouldn't have to beg for questions in the webinars. I get message questions all the time, all day, every day on every network. Then when I'm in the challenge webinar, usually after an hour, some people like they don't know what to ask me. Write down questions while you're studying, okay? This goes for everybody out there, but I only do Q&A during my challenge webinars. This is one of the benefits of joining the challenge. This is why I want you joining. Um, ask me anything. Hopefully I can help you. I gotta get back to hiking. Cheers.